I thought it would be great if we could just start off talking about your own experiences uh, preparing for the PLAB and how things went. So my PLAB experience was quite painful actually and it was quite expensive as well. So when I took it like four or five years ago, I was just a junior doctor in Turkey and I had to save a lot of money just to cover my expenses to go to a course in the UK stay there in a small room and it was expensive it was as well in, it was in London and I had to stay like six weeks in London and when you put on the currency difference it was quite expensive mm -hmm. the course was expensive as well and as well as the exam itself was expensive so it was very painful away from my family uh, it was a difficult time difficult yeah. six weeks um, what would you say the most challenging bit about the whole exam was? was would you say it was the um, academic side in terms of the knowledge you had to get mm -hmm. or the communication skills or uh, the amount of time you have to sink in away from your family? I suppose these are all challenges, but what, were the, what was the toughest bit? I believe being away from the family was difficult, mm -hmm. but I would say communication skills mm -hmm. because obviously when I just look at the students now, the UK students, they are getting this communication skills education throughout their uh, medical school years and it's spread out to three, four years. But in order to get through the PLAP exam, you need to know it in like a couple of weeks and especially you are doing it in a different language, it's not your mother tongue mm -hmm. and you need to also play your interpersonal skills and for me, for example, uh, I never had an experience speaking with an actor, mm -hmm. like a professional patient. And you need to work on your acting skills as well. Mm -hmm. And all the communication, for example, breaking a bad news, how to breaking in layers. It was very difficult for me to understand. And uh, so what would your main pieces of advice be for people who are preparing for their plan exam, do you think? I believe there would be a couple. Uh, first of all, start early and try to take your time, try to understand the logic of it, because I'm sure that everybody taking the PLAP exam is going to be a very good doctor, will be having very good clinical knowledge, and they already passed PLAP 1, so I have no doubt that they have a good clinical knowledge. But about the communication skills, about the interpersonal skills, sometimes even the language might be challenging, and if you if they can give some time to themselves, maybe prepare at home, online, looking at the people who are professional, giving a consultation. They can just pick stuff and they can just imitate. Because this, I believe, how we learn. We just imitate uh, the people who does the thing that they, we want to learn. And we try to do the same thing. What we've tried to do with this course that we've been working on together is um, try to kind of showcase uh, the best ways to do the exam mm -hmm. uh, and the sort of things an examiner might be looking for uh, for candidates coming to take their own PLEB 2 exam. And um, hopefully with a course like this, one of the things we can do to help doctors out um, for example, you mentioned all that cost and time away from your family. Uh, with this video course that we have here, we can help them avoid some of that expense, uh, allow them to get a lot of their preparation done wherever they happen to be in the world, mm -hmm. uh, and hopefully make their whole preparation experience a lot smoother and easier and more affordable for them. I totally agree, because a lot of time they will be doing a similar thing mm -hmm. and they can just imitate what you've been telling, your body language, and they can just try to do the same thing maybe when they are practice with their friends, for example, talking with a relative. Mm -hmm. It was just so amazing, it was just so smooth, and that's something that you've been doing for all your life. I believe they will have a very easy time in the exam. Well, um, thank you so much for taking the time to chat and talk about your experiences. I'm sure they'll be really useful and helpful to other doctors who are thinking of coming and working in the UK. And um, hopefully with the rest of this course, we'll help them get through it together. Yeah, hopefully. Thank you very much. Thank you.